All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys, and I am calling this video the Knives Fast King of the Mountain. Yeah, that's right. You, you got it. All right. So this is Knives Fast. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will ex under, ex uh, wow. I will explain why that weird title in a moment. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Stick around. Check out a live stream on Monday nights at 745 and check me out over on Instagram. All right. So uh, these are easily the top two knives in my collection. That's just what they are. Okay, so here we have the Quiet Carry 9, and over here we have the Berg Blades Sweeney. These are both in the 340, 350 range, so they're two of the most expensive knives in my collection. Uh, they, they are the two most expensive knives in my collection. Um, I will be getting one later this month. Uh, probably that will be right there with them, but for now, these are the two most expensive knives in my collection. So which one is better? Um, and this is going to be tough. Uh, I think I already have a preconceived winner, uh, which is pretty awful to do. Um, and you know what? I don't believe either one of these is currently available. Now there may be some, some of the new MagnaCut versions of the Quiet Carry 9 available. Uh, by the way, did I even say Quiet Carry 9 Berg Blade Sweeney? Did I say that? I don't even know. We, we're like a minute and a half into the video, and I think that might be the first time I've said that. Um, but not this particular 20 CV model. And I'm, there are Berg Blade Mini Sweeney's, but they might be sold out by now. Uh, and, but I don't think there's any of this particular one available. So these are only available on the secondary. Uh, but the question is, what is the better knife for me? Uh, because what you might have... A completely different opinion. Now, let's just go through them real quick. This is the Berg Blade Sweeney in bead blasted titanium and shred carbon fiber. You have a front flipper and hole deployment. So two methods of deployment. You have the Berg Blades logo, beautiful satin finished flat grind blade. Uh, it is a bolster lock, um, great access to the lock bar, incredible detent um and riot made in china very very nicely done as far as ergonomics and as far as action it's just stupid good it is a laser beam thin cutter drop point blade so stinking good all right so we're gonna put the sweeney right there now this one actually i would say style wise and we'll go through it um it may even be a little bit better. This is the Quiet Carry 9. And you again have a really cool drop point blade. Now you have this ridiculously shiny uh, 20 CV stone wash blade. Look at that. It is a gorgeous finish on that blade. I love the very thin. It's even thinner uh, flat grind. Both are flat grinds. So I know a lot of you love hollow grinds and I do like hollow grinds. But I'm just, there's something about a tall flat grind that I love. And uh, we'll go through that. Now you have titanium. You have a frame lock here. Um, you have this knurling up top. And then down at the bottom on this side, you have the nebula fat carbon. Um, and on this side, it is just titanium. So let's first talk about differences, okay? So the first difference is this is a bolster lock, so you have handle material, in other words, cover material, um, you know, scales, if you will, of carbon fiber on both sides. This one, your carbon fibers on one side, titanium. So I know that rules a lot of people out right out of the bat because I get the comments. Did I just cut myself? Uh, yes, I did, but it's not bad. Good. Uh, that was Fumble Fingers McGee right there. Um, all right. Yeah, not bad. Just a little tiny nothing. All right. So... Uh, right on that sharpening choil. So we'll talk about that too. That's interesting. Um, all right. So um, a lot of you will immediately go, nope, on this one, just simply because it's got two different handle materials. I hear you. I know who you are. <laughs> I got it. Okay. Um, and, you know, we're all different in that regard. And that is absolutely fine. Um, and you know what, guys? I'm going to stop down and grab a Band-Aid. I'll be right back. 
All right, so I've got the Band-Aid on. We're good to go. It was real tiny. It just wouldn't stop. But I've also adjusted the angle here for lighting purposes. I got a new light uh, mount because my other one broke and the angle was a little bit off. So I think this is going to be better. So we'll try this. So differences. Um, first of all, the first thing first, um, when you open them, you will see that the Quiet Carry is a taller knife. Um, it is right off the bat. Taller on the blade, taller on the handle, which means two things. Number one, you get first, oh, and, and by the way, thinner stock as well, and just slightly thinner on the blade on the uh, handle as well. Um, and so you get a little thinner uh, down here on the blade, and you get more room for your hand, uh, which you guys know is a big deal for me and one of the reasons I designed the microburst the way I did. But you get nice contoured scales on this one, so it still feels good. But I will say, if I have to compare the grip, I think I might like the Quiet Carry just slightly better. Not, not a lot, but just slightly. Uh, but again, this does get a taller flat grind and come down to a thinner edge and start with thinner stock, and this does uh, is 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 less of a uh, room for the grind, but still is very uh, thin and slicey as well. So not that big of a difference. Um, next thing is you've got two method of deployments on the Berg. You've got the front flipper and the hole. And on this guy, you've got thumb studs, which you can do both middle finger and uh, thumb deployment. Uh, Action-wise, you've got um, this guy. Well, this guy will drop to your thumb and then just easily uh, slide home. See, you got to get past that detent, uh, but easily slide home once you do that. The access to the lock bar is a little less on this one, uh, a little bit easier on that one. You got more room. Uh, it drops your thumb like crazy, but then it just sort of hydraulically slips home with some shakes. Um, by the way, you can thumb open this one with the whoops, thumb open this one with the hole as well. Um, so I think I would give uh, action slightly uh, to, man, I don't know. I go back and forth. I think I have to give it to the Sweeney just because it's got two methods uh, and my favorite method, which is middle finger flicking a hole with an incredible detent. Uh, this has a good detent. Uh, but not a great detent. It, it could be a little bit, I don't know. It's pretty good. It's pretty good, but they're both running on bearings. They're both good. So I think we're kind of at a dead heat, but because of the hole, I'm going to give it to the Sweeney. Um, access to the lock bar, I definitely give to the Sweeney. Uh, and I'm going to give that thinness of the blade and overall ergonomics uh, to the Quiet Carry here. Although, I mean, again, ergonomics are definitely excellent on this one. Very, very good, but I gotta give it to the Quiet Carry for ergonomics a little bit. Now, size-wise, you can see they're very similar. And I think we're gonna do the weight here because I'm curious. I do not remember, um, but we're gonna see. The Sweeney is 3.5 and the Quiet Carry is gonna be more, it is. 4.0, okay. So again, very similar. And again, size wise, um, I would say extremely similar, but again, uh, the Quiet Carry is taller and the Sweeney might be ever so slightly longer, um, just barely. Um, so man, this is tough. Now I will say this, um, this by the way, this guy, the Berg Sweeney is made in China by Riot. And I just think there's something next level about the fit and finish. The way this one feels, the way everything fits together is amazing. This is great. Uh, one of the things I didn't mention about the action over here is you kind of, when you're dropping this guy, you kind of, uh, what I call, feel the bearings. In other words, they're not grindy, but can you hear that? Just a little bit of, I don't know. Uh, much about the, the the bearings on this one, but definitely you feel those, whereas this one is much more smoother. Uh, this guy is made in Taiwan. We don't know what factory they use in Taiwan, uh, but really cool. And they're about the same price. Um, so I'm going to have to wrap this up. This is tough. Oh, wait, I was going to do one more thing. Uh, if I can find something here. Oh, great. All right, here we go. All right, so I just wanted to show you guys.
put this back over here so I don't cut myself again. Um, again, both of these are very thin and slicey, okay? Uh, no question. Clean edge, very nicely done. Let's put you over here. Um, same thing. And I've used both of these a lot, and yet they have both retained their edge very well. And again, I don't know if I said this, but we're going to say it again. We've got 20 CV versus 20 CV. So that is really cool. Um, so both are very slicey and do a very good job. So I got to pick one. Um, and I think most of you already probably know, uh, I'm going to go with my first leaning and I'm going to say the Sweeney, but not by much. I, I actually toyed with selling, uh, the quiet carry recently. And then I talked myself out of it. I actually posted it and didn't get any offers. And I'm really glad because I just want to keep it. Um, but I might have to sell it someday, but for now it's sticking around and the Sweeney isn't going anywhere. So there, see, you see what I'm saying? I wouldn't even entertain selling the Sweeney. It is absolutely, uh, elegant and great. So there is, uh, the king of the mountain of the Knives Fast collection, uh, is the Bergblade Sweeney, extremely closely followed by the Quiet Carry 9, um, and everything else is quite a bit uh, below that at this point in my collection, but uh, I've got some more coming that that are going to compete uh, Really well, we shall see so guys. Uh, what do you think of this style of video? Hopefully you enjoyed it definitely trying to do uh, more of this kind of comparative stuff uh, You guys really enjoy those so uh, like comment subscribe uh, hit that notification bell Let me know what you think. Let me know which one you would pick and thanks for watching the knives fast channel